This is David Haken with Casey Cafe Radio at the Surf of Folk Alliance Conference in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm here with Noah Zacharin, who is one of the artists showcasing at the Chattanooga Hotel. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Thanks to be. It's be wonderful to be in this beautiful space. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit uh, about your musical influences. I've been playing a long, long time, so I have many influences. I started uh, playing guitar when I was nine years old and started listening to old folk music and off of a four record set of, of um, called folk, American Folk Singers and Balladeers that my parents had. And uh, so that was my first taste of Doc Watson and my first taste right. of Mississippi John Hurt and Mike Seeger. And those three in particular were, were such big influences on shaping me as a musician from, from an early age. Um, yeah, and then just listening to other things, uh, John Fahey and, and Ralph Towner started to you know, broaden my harmonic palette. Right. Um, and bluegrass, I love, you know, country music, and listening <laughs> to all the big, and Reverend Gary Davis was a huge influence. Oh, yeah. I loved his music. Um, I don't play anything like him. I never really tried to emulate it, but just the vibe and, and the, the, the depth of his playing. Yeah. So he, you know, things I listen to, and then I listen to classical music. I listen to birds. I right. love the sounds. I love <laughs> silence. You know, I love the sounds of wind going through the the trees. Um, so they're they're all they're all in the uh, you know in the, in mix. the mix. Yeah. <laughs> so how would you describe your music? Well, I'm, I I don't you know, and I know it's it's sort of disingenuous to do that, but I. I, I listen and love all kinds of music, so it's it. I've never really identified wholly with any particular genre of music. Right. Uh, I'm a songwriter. I'm a musician. I'm a guitar player. I'm an appreciator of music of all sorts, and of sounds of all sorts. I, I I'm a inveterate collector of sounds. Um, um, have plans for doing to do another record that uses a lot of ambient sound. And, animal sounds and voices things that I've picked up uh, scavenging around with my my fancy Wonderful. little iPhone when is that due to come out well it, 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 I when is the when it's done. when is when is when am I due to start it is really the question. <laughs> I for a long time had a home studio that I loved working in I, I worked in a different number of different formats and then when uh, everybody went to computer I got rid of my DA88s which I loved and I just never Felt comfortable recording right. on the computer, so I, I, I've been. It's been about ten years since I decommissioned the, the DA88s, and I haven't really been recording a lot at home. I'm record. I record my records now in other studios, but I'm. When I get back from from this tour, I'll be uh, working with a friend of mine who's a wonderful engineer. He's going to help me set it up because I have all the gear. I have all the outboard gear at home. Right. I have nice microphones that I used to use. I just don't have any. I haven't got new a, platform. Yeah, so <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, and and then I think that'll be the first project. It's getting used to the programs, and and I have a backlog of, of instrumental music, and I'll put start doing that. And, Great. And you know, I'll listen to you know voices. Voice my, I have voice messages from from my late parents. I have voice messages from other people. I have wow. sounds of my cat. Wow. So I wanna I wanna mix it all and make it very personal but accessible. So that'll be. Uh, so I think you asked me how I describe my music. I just love sounds. You know, I love. I, I, I was when I was driving down here. I had the top open for a little while, and I was just listening to the sound of the highway. And then there was some kind of whistling going on because part of my fender is coming off because I backed into a pillar. And then every time a truck would pass me, there was a different music that was that was coming. So I recorded a lot of that. And um, a buddy of mine wants me to make a record called Road Noise, <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking about using that sort of as a subliminal underneath uh, other things that are going on. But but just the way sounds are. I remember there's a there was a big blackout in um, in eastern Canada, North America. I think it was for about 12 years ago, and I remember sitting in the backyard and um, and everybody was turning on their radios. And I, I, I just, I could sense the fear that they had of, of the silence, because the silence is really isn't silence. Yes. And I was sitting there with, with, with my gal, and um, I said, I said, listen to all of the sounds that are, you know, and you, you, you could hear little birds, or you could hear right. insects, or, you know, people making noise, or opening a bag of potato chips, and just were surrounded by it, so defining, you know, noise as noise is 
So how it like, occurs to you. Yeah, it's, yes. it, it, there's sounds. You know, I hear sounds. So, so I love all kinds of music. I'm, I never said I'm a folk guy. I'm never a blues guy. I'm not a jazz guy. I just play music. I happen to have certain skills, and I happen right. to have a guitar in my hand, so that's what I do. But but I, I love I love beautiful sounds wherever they come from. So tell us about the song you're going to play for us. Um, apropos the song, it's kind of it's kind of appropriate that I'm wearing a, a faded blue denim uh, a shirt. Um, I have a lot of, uh, you know, you asked me about my early influences, so so having started listening to music and, and playing when I was, before I was 10, a, a lot of my influences and, and people that I look up to have, have passed away and they've been doing it with alarming frequency in the past five, 10 years. Um, you know, so you, you, you never think that's gonna happen and, it, and it, you know, you always hear about old men saying, well, you know, all my friends are dead. And it just, it's just an idea that doesn't really have any weight until you, your friends start to die. And, and I, you know, I consider a lot of my musical icons friends. Um, you know, I, I was friends with, with Leonard Cohen, so his passing. And right. I met Jesse Winchester, so his passing hurt me a lot. And so Guy Clark passed away a couple of years ago. And I was really, I, I appreciated his music. I appreciated his skills as a craftsman. I I loved his place in the in the um, in the panoply of Texas songwriters. How people would make a pilgrimage. Steve Rowe would come down and say, "Who do you got to meet?" Well, I got to meet Guy Clark. And so I was I was um, I was in um, I have a, a, an off grid cabin in the north of Ontario, and I go there not to be around people. But there's a few people that I'm friendly with, and there's a fellow out there who who does a jam at his house every week. And I'd, I'd avoided it for a long time, and then I felt I, you know, he's a big supporter of music, and he's a good guy. And so I started driving out there, and it was dark, and I was listening to the radio station, and they were talking about Guy Clark in the past tense, and immediately, like I, I said, no, not him, you know, not right. him too. So they went on, and of course he had passed away the day before, and I got to I got to um, to Dave's place, and and um, I said I said Dave. Guy Clark's gone, and there's so much work to be done. And as a songwriter, right, there you go. that was, that right was the moment. <laughs> yeah, so I said, I, I said, well, that's it, you know. So, and everyone who lives with or is associated with songwriter knows that sort of a dual personality. That corporeally we're here, but sometimes we're somewhere very, very far away. And and so I knew I I, I would have to hold on to that. And so that make it into this song? Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. the title of it, is so much work to be done. Yay. And then there's a lot of other details that really just actually happened before I left this place. He, he went up, he said, before you go, i got to show you this. And he brought me down this dobro that he had up in the attic that had belonged to his father. I don't play dobro, but I'm you know, familiar enough with string right. instruments that I played a few chords and I got some ideas. And I said, I said, I said, Dave, i got to go. And I went home, and you know everything about it is pretty literally true. Cool. Well, and, let's uh, hear it. Yeah, and it's so it's uh, it's called uh, so much work to be done. <laughs> There's whiskey made it through the winter. It's still got a bite. And I lift one to the master. Farewell, farewell, good night. Too many losses for my fingers. Hands can't steady anyone. Here on Crumbling Mountain, there is so much work to be done. I was driving my particular darkness The radio voice placed him in the past And the whole world dimmed a little Texas stars at half-mast Can't blame the constellations The spirit or the sun on a one-lane road of moonlight There is so much work to be done
pistol pony wife or kid But I got a sweet cabin and a guitar from Austin And what a little good I did Pistol pony wife or kid But I got a sweet cabin and a guitar from Austin And what a little good I did And if I get another morning I'll know it by the sun Angling and horn Work to be Had a chisel, a pencil, and a grin A master with a job, don't ask how or why He just asks what and when So play it on your daddy's dobro Or fire off a 21 gun there's salt in the Rio Grande There is so much work to be done There's so much work to be done This might have a masterpiece there. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Texas stars at half mast. Yeah. Oh boy! Thanks so much for coming in and sharing your music with us. Thank you for inviting me. Nice to see you.